We've got a, a, a facility here which is uh, modern, um, but it's really the space and the, the lightness and the airiness of it that I think people are going to feel. Uh, when you come down into this area, there's no more of that crowding into little corridors and waiting. Um, if there is any disruption, we always try and keep that to a minimum, but if there is any disruption, there's space now to wait, to sit. There's lots of information, lots of screens around, um, lots of connectivity and information. So I think, you know, hopefully what they get is a much greater feeling that we're looking after them and that actually they're an important part of this environment. So we've got two large entrances on St Thomas Street. We've got extra capacity uh, in the arches that allow people to get to the underground and out to Tudor Street much quicker than otherwise they would have done. And we've still got the space that we had upstairs, which was where the, the issues were in January 15. So that's about a fifth of the entrance and, the, and a fifth of the space that we've got at the station. Uh, there should be no repeats of that. We've got a much larger area that we are able to work people in. Um, we've got additional um, ability in terms of the platforms, access to the platforms, so we don't envisage any of that. If you look around, if you see the number of screens that we've got, um, some of which aren't working yet, but they'll be working for the weekend, um, we don't envisage any of that bottlenecking of passengers. We haven't designed it to suddenly cut the minute or two off the actual journey time through the station, but in terms of the environment you're in and the ease of getting to trains, that's much, much better.